This video is a time lapse that represents process of anime character painting in Madbox. All files are included. Please see link in description. First, I'll sketch details of character design on the top of my model. I'll use modeling references as my template. You'll find them included in the folder files. After that, I'll create new layer and refine my sketch. At first, drawing on the character directly seems to be harder than in Photoshop, but in the end, you will be able to create seamless texture, where you may place complicated designs without them breaking on the edges of the UV map. The stencil is optional, and any of you may use your own design so you can sketch it directly on the character to your preferences. Please keep stencil on separate layer, don't paint on it. Use it as your guide only. Please remember to sketch details of your design on the other parts of the character. And now I can start painting my character. For this specific character, I'm using just the painting tools. I did introduce them in my previous video. Please learn how to use tools before you attempt to work in Madbox or any other program. It will be helpful if you have a Wacom tablet or any similar device. Also try to use stencil, create your own or find some online. Any image can work as the stencil. So keep painting your character. Don't worry if something doesn't look great at first. Use layers. Save your file often. Remember, you can always go back and make adjustments at any time. Don't rush, just relax and enjoy painting process. Remember to take the breaks as needed. Don't try to complete the whole character in one sitting. When you painting character face, you can paint directly on the mesh or use stencil. I'm using part of my original design. So turn your favorite music on and keep working on your character.
working on your character, keep adding details. Don't worry about imperfection. We will adjust them in Photoshop in next video. Thank you and good luck.